When it comes to mental health, a diagnosis is so important. It gives us direction, the ability to get the correct medication and medical support. A diagnosis is a label, but this label does not define us. I am more than a label. Over half of parents in England have never spoken to their children about the topic of mental health, including well-being, stress, anxiety and depression. I am more than depression. I am more than anxiety. One in four people will experience a mental health problem in any given year. I am more than paranoia. We probably all work with someone experiencing a mental health problem. One in ten young people will experience a mental health problem. I am more than stress. People with a mental illness are more likely to be a victim of violence. I am more than panic. Nine out of ten people with mental health problems experience stigma and discrimination. Nearly three in four young people fear the reaction of friends when they talk about their mental health problems. Stigma. The perception that a certain attribute makes a person unacceptably different from others, leading to prejudice and discrimination against them. I am more than stigma. This is how stigma can affect someone living with mental health problems. It can isolate you, stopping you from participating in day-to-day -day activities. It can stop you from getting a job or keeping one. Many people don't seek help and only wait until a crisis has happened. I am more than mental health. Nine out of ten people with mental health problems reported the negative impact of stigma and discrimination on their lives. I was first diagnosed when I was 16, so it was just after my 16th birthday. Um, I was diagnosed with depression. At the time it was quite severe. I was diagnosed with anxiety and depression um, when I was about 17, 18, going through my last, last uh, year of school. I was diagnosed with obsessive compulsive disorder when I was 15. I went to a doctor and a month later they diagnosed me with depression and put me on some antidepressants. I um, developed depression when I was about 15. I have suffered from depression, anxiety and post-traumatic stress disorder. I think the main kind of stigma is, well, what's wrong with you? You've got the perfect life. Why wouldn't you be happy? And just mainly people thinking it's a choice to be depressed. Nobody in the world would choose to feel depressed and isolated and completely horrible about themselves. So for someone to say or suggest that it's your fault, it's pretty, pretty horrible because then you kind of start blaming yourself and then it just escalates. Shortly after I was diagnosed, I experienced a bit of discrimination at school. Uh, one of the teachers just didn't, didn't quite understand. Um, I really do feel like she viewed me as kind of weak or like making it up or she just didn't take it as seriously. Um, that was really difficult for me because especially in the school environment and they say it kind of in front of the whole class, it does impact you. You kind of experience a lot of, of stigma and discrimination, not necessarily personally, but just out kind of in the community and out when people are talking and um, just kind of wry comments people make, like um, kind of schizo or, or lunatic, etc. Although they're not meant to harm anyone particularly, they can really affect someone who's trying to, to cope with their own little crisis and, and it does make a massive impact to them if they, if they look round and see people um, kind of treating, treating them in this way. When I was writing my CV and um, 
I'd written, obviously, that I had been in a period in a mental hospital and stuff like that, so that was on my CV and I was told that that was stupid, you know, and people wouldn't take me on because of that. Um, and actually, uh, I actually got a job when I, um, when I'd first written my CV, but they'd picked up on that and they sort of took me inside and said, will you show up? I first experienced stigma when I was 12 years old, when I was first referred to the Child and As Adolescent Mental Health Services and my counsellor put it down to teenage angst and hormones and it completely put me off with trying to seek help for quite a long time. When people were stigmatising me, I felt quite sad and it, I also panicked me more, so it made my OCD worse because I realised that people were picking up on the things that I was doing, people were commenting about them and also people were avoiding me because I was doing these things. I am more, I am just me. I am more, I am me. I am more, I am me. I am more, I am me. I am more, I'm just me. I am more, I am me. I am more, I am me.